So this work is how to solve equations like 3 cos x plus 5 sin x equals 2. There are a number of ways of doing this question. Here's the way I recommend. Firstly, as I like to say, think of a magic number. In this case, my magic number is the square root of 34. I'm going to say this is, I'm going to divide by the square root of 34. I'm going to divide by the square root of 34. I can't just divide by the square root of 34 though, I've got to multiply by the square root of 34 to compensate. Can you see where the square root of 34 comes from? It's 3 squared plus 5 squared square rooted. 3 squared, 5 squared, 3 squared, 5 squared, 34. So two things. Uh, how did I get the square root of 34? By doing Pythagoras on 3 and 5. Why did I do it? Well, we'll find out in a minute. So, I've, the equation, this equation here is the same as this equation here. I've divided by the square root of 34, and I've times by the square root of 34. I can now compare this, the bit inside the bracket, with sine alpha cos x plus cos alpha sine x. So I'm now saying this is the square root of 34 times that. And I can compare this with that, this with that. And obviously from here, sine alpha is, the, is 3 over root 34, and cos alpha is 5 over root 34. So from this, I can see that sine alpha is 3 over root 34 and from that I can work out what alpha is and it's 30.96 degrees that's to two decimal places as a check I can see that cos alpha is 5 over root 34 and I also obviously get alpha is 30.96 degrees now, the reason that I've chosen to do the Pythagoras is simply so that the alpha I get from solving this equation is the same alpha I get from solving that equation. That's why I have to do this, because of the Pythagoras. So alpha is 30.96 degrees. So to sum up where we were on the previous slide, we've got 3 cos x plus 5 sin x is 2. Uh, and what I didn't say was that x is between naught and 360. Now I also know that alpha is 30.96 degrees. So I can now solve this equation here uh, and I can do that by simplifying what's inside the bracket because what's inside the bracket is sine of alpha plus x because that is the compound angle formula. Sine of alpha plus x is sine alpha cos x plus cos alpha sine x, which is what we've got here. So whereas in this line x is in two places, this line x is in one place. So now I can solve that equation just by doing inverse operations. Let's divide everything by uh, root 34, and then do inverse sine, so alpha plus x is inverse sine of 2 over root 34, which is 20.06 degrees, but obviously there's other angles, so it could be 180 minus that, which is 159.94, or it could be 360 plus these, that's 380.06, or 519.94, and so on. So therefore, x is uh, uh, these numbers here, minus 30.96. 20 minus 30 isn't in that range, so I can ignore that one. So the first answer I'm going to get is 159.94 minus 30.96. Must be 128.98. And then I've got 380.06. Minus 30.96, 128.98, 128.98.
that works out to be 349.10 and then 519 minus 30 that's 480 ish so that's outside the range so therefore x is 129.0 degrees or 349.1 degrees that's to one decimal place.